surrounds and um, are only um, using the Storm Audio as a matrix. Um, that's only taken off um, just a few channels. Um, just got to figure out when and how uh, to get the um, the SA10 uh, sort of rigged back up into the system because it was all rigged up uh, when I was on the Denon. It's all rigged up pretty smartly. Um, so I've just got to figure out how to um, which way because it is <laughs> with the system, the B chain. It's very complex and it's got to work. It's got to be backward compatible. It's got to work to do what it's uh, what, what it does uh, what it's designed to do. Basically, it's just a matrix decoder, a four-channel matrix decoder, whereas home versions are only a three-channel. Um, that's why the Storm Audio or the Trinov or any of this other nonsense, it can still, um, if you try to do like an EX sort of thing, that's if an EX actually exists on the thing, but it'll only do a three-channel, not four-channel. Plus, it won't do the, um, the other channel switching. Which is only designed into an SA10. So the SA10 will only be connected up to the system only on a specific. It won't be uh, used for anything else. It'll only be used for um, um, the other uh, sound formats on this uh, system. Uh, da 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 da. you get with professional JDL. <laughs> <coughs> It's not just you know bass, bass, bass. I can add directionality with the 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 effects, the foley, you know. Um, you know those are the little nuances, the details that nobody talks about. You know, everyone says nuances, but they don't mention all the effects, the panning and such, and the foley panning, or how the panning's done, or how the foley's exactly done. Foley might be center state and then a little bit, but it's panned and that it's moving. It's always sort of moving around, it's moving. Oh, you feel Obi-Wan, you can really 
can't feel Obi Obi uh, Obi One um, when um, you know the, all the effects of the Foley. hard in the center you know those little center channel speakers in a home theater wouldn't be able to withstand that they'll just crack up and distort Savoring over the LCR, and then it's some part of it then comes into a little bit more of a, a base authority with a little bit of a LFE extending on it just to give it a little bit more energy. But that LFE only comes on as and when it's not base managed or anything in this system is base managed, it's all playing as it would be at a cinema. And he turns around with the yeah, the Doppler sounds shifted and you have the, uh, the lightsaber ring uh, switching around swap uh, with the bass directionally and just hear the bass just switching around and kind of moving over my body sort of thing it's creepy <laughs> I feel it going over the chest, in the stomach. I feel the, the lightsabering. Um, though, you know, in real life, uh, you probably wouldn't even feel any of that because you just hear the sound, hear the frequency. But you wouldn't feel it. got this playing in um, five screen wide L left left center center right center right wow why am I got it on the video projector so I only turn the projector on as and when <laughs> yeah, suffice on the OLED Some sort of sound. It's um, kind of like it sounds like it's behind or kind of an upward, depending on how the mix is done. And it sort of sounds like it's shifted upward, giving a kind of you know that way they're having a little lightsaber in the mule and the uh, the Qui Gons. <laughs> So then the sound sort of cuts to the front. Wow. Holy crap. 
disengaging. THX sound system really uh, does it some damn good pace, clarity, fidelity, justice. <laughs> Of course, the Dolby Mix as well, theatrical, theatrical mix. Oh, feel it. Chest in the stomach. Ooh. <sighs> 